All right, the day has come. I'm finally off to Adelaide. I've packed all my bags super last minute as per usual, and I'm going to finally meet the team at Airspeeder. So we have been communicating only over Zoom and over the phone call, so it would be great to actually put a face to all the names that I've communicated with in the past. Um, yeah, super excited to actually meet them, and also the first time for me down in Adelaide, I've never been down there, so I'm keen to also explore. But for now, let's head to the airport. Tomorrow is my first day with Airspeeder, my, my official day one. My first thoughts are, I'm excited, I'm super stoked to finally meet the team, meet the people behind Airspeeder and really putting a face to the names and um, it's gonna be interesting. I think tomorrow we're gonna have the first day of induction which probably will be a bit dry but it's part of the, <laughs> it's part of the journey as well. But for now, let's get a good night's sleep. I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, so I just made it here. I just got dropped off with the Uber. And as you can see, a louder airspeeder is right behind me. And I'm actually super excited to get in there and meet everyone. So it's going to be interesting. First time in Adelaide and then first time meeting the team in the flash. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm nervous or anything. If anything, I'm super stoked to be here. So let's go in. Alright guys, so we're just in the factory right now in the warehouse and after my first reaction here I'm pretty I'm pretty in shocked and still getting like these dopamine hits so just being and seeing these aircrafts and knowing that I'll be flying them very shortly. We just did like a bit of an IMU testing to see if the inputs of the aircrafts are actually accurate. It's pretty impressive to see how technology has advanced and the fact that we'll be able to fly these very soon just blows my mind. First time sitting in Wow. This is a small step for the world, but a big step for the reason, that's for sure. <laughs> fully pod race, this is fully pod race. This is pod race. I used to be a huge fan of pod race, and now look at me, I'm sitting in the <laughs> Uncomfortable though. <laughs> they gotta work on that. Yeah, yeah. I, can't, I can't get used to this view, imagine. It's like, Roger, Roger. Is that from coming to your yes. There's so many other cool things that you can do with this shit. Catch up for breezy, catch up. Catch up, catch up, catch up. <laughs> this is how you're gonna fly it. Do we like it? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Do we like it? <laughs> no. Who are um, you? Sorry, I forgot about the young. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is not. Ah, it's okay. Now okay. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. So first day, we're already on cleaning duty, cleaning the speeders because obviously we fly in crazy conditions where salt is the biggest enemy. So now we're gonna clean this bad boy and hopefully it's gonna be back in shape. <laughs> Back to the testing grounds, and Emily is gonna show us how she's training at the moment. Yay. She's tra training with this little tiny. Little tiny. <laughs> What's the name of the drone again? Tiny, because it's a tiny hawk. Tony. So tiny hawk. <laughs> oh, okay, I love it, I love it. <laughs> so we're gonna practice with this one for now. Uh, so she's gonna get better at flying drones because she actually has never flown a drone before, unlike me and um, Seth. Uh, but yeah, I'll be, I'm gonna give this a crack as well. So it's just cool to see like that. In order to fly drones, you obviously gotta start somewhere, right? And we start on the tiny hawk. So let's go. So what's this? This is like the little test area that I've been like training yep. in, um, or practicing. And we usually have like a screen there, but because we have little Tony, Tony's not really gonna. <laughs> it's all <any> tiny. <laughs> <laughs> so this drone is so tiny. It fits in my palm hand. And now, in comparison. <laughs> Like, <laughs> just in comparison, this is as big as the W. As you can see, you just gotta start small. Never underestimate the power of starting something somewhere because that's, that's where we all get started, really, isn't it? So, let's get yeah. this bad boy in the air. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh shit. You're going high. What's it called? Um, That's cool, you got control though. That's awesome. Alright guys, day two. We today we have a lot of media stuff to do. We started the day with some induction stuff just to get you know acquainted with all the regulations and stuff that we have to go through as part of being a pilot for Airspeeder. And now we have currently an interview with Telstra who are sponsors of this program. So we gonna introduce ourselves to the world pretty much and hopefully we can release this footage very soon once we have announced everything. So let's do some interviews. So we just finished off the training and the Telstra interview and we're now doing the proper filming of my, I guess, introduction to the sport, which I'm super excited about. So the boys and the girls have currently set up everything and we're gonna head in now. Today I woke up to a message from the SBR asking to become... Just did the shooting. Um, it actually feels super unreal <laughs> to be here posed in front of these aircraft, really. Um, Man, this is just a moment of appreciation how FP really has changed my life, man. <laughs> I've been doing this a year and now look at me. I'm like, you're posing in front of these flying cars, really, you know? So, man, if I can do it, you can do it too. So, yeah, super grateful. And tomorrow we're gonna go actually into the field and fly this bad boy. So, it's gonna be hectic, it's gonna be very interesting, but I'm super excited. So, I'll catch you guys there. Good morning, guys. It's currently four. 30 a.m. and I'm super tired, but this is the time that we have to wake up to make our way to the Salt Lake so we can actually fly the air speeders today. So this will be my first time to see the air speeders in action today, which is still unbelievable to be honest. I can't actually imagine seeing them flying, but it's actually happening today, which I'm super excited about. Oh, so tired. I like literally maybe like two or three hours sleep. I'm actually surprised that I woke up before my alarm even rang, so that's a good sign, I guess. But yeah, so I just got ready. I'm about to get picked up by someone from Airspeeder, and then we're gonna drive to the headquarter, and then from there we're gonna drive all together to the Salt Lake. So yeah, pretty pumped. So can't believe this is actually happening. Um, but for now, let's get downstairs and let's make our way. All right, we made it, and there are our babies. This is what I came for. Our Airspeeder. So I think actually the red one is pretty cool. Um, but I'm like we've been talking about the colors that we're gonna go for 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 me at least and it probably it's probably gonna look like that I'm gonna go for the black one and we're gonna add some silver silver stripes linings all over it so I think it's gonna look very very cool all right so we just arrived at the location and have a look at this This is so ridiculous. If someone would have told me 12 months ago that I'd be out here in Adelaide at a salt lake flying electric flying cars, I would have said you're tripping. But we are here. So this is just next level. So the boys just put down the speeder and today we're gonna race or we're gonna fly the white one, I call it White Pearl. I just gave it this name, so from now on we're gonna call this one White Pearl. And isn't she a beauty? Okay guys, I've stolen Fav's camera because this is the first time he's at the Salt Lake. It's my first time too, and I've dared him to taste the salt. <laughs> so we're gonna taste it, all right? Apparently it's tradition, the first time you're on the Salt Lake, you gotta try the salt. So <laughs> apparently this is gonna give you extra powers. It's pretty like super dirty, man. Just do it anyway. This is how you get build your immune system up. All right. You ready? Yeah. Where's the this tequila when you need it? Let's try it. It's so <laughs> So we just had our little induction little safety briefing of what's going to happen today, um, what what the boys are, what the boys and girls are going to be filming, and also how we're going to navigate the airspeed in the air today. I'll be just watching for today, so we're going to get my I guess reaction the first time of seeing the airspeeders in the air, which I'm ex actually very excited about. But for now, we're just going to get set up, and then we get the bird in the air. Let's go. As you know, I always say consistency is key, content is king, and today. 
Fuck, I forgot your name for a second. Sean is in charge of content. Hi, Sean. Hey, man. <laughs> We're about to launch. We're just getting everything ready. Boys already reset everything up. No time for the launch. Oh, yeah, it's, it's on now. Holy shit! I can't, I can't believe that I'm able to fly these aircrafts very soon. Like, I'm so grateful being able to pioneer this field, you know, being one of the first ever who's been flying these electric flying cars. Mind blowing. I, I, I'm, I'm actually speechless. To be honest, I just I don't even know what to say. If I can do it, you can do it. Just remember that.